some of the electrical characterization for solar cells like there are four probe or hall measurement uh, which can give us information about carrier type like uh, series resistance and resistance all those things okay so we have similarly we have capacitance uh, cv measurement capacitance voltage measurement we have trpl we have like uh, deep level capacitance profiling so all those some um, uh, these electrical characterization for solar cell material so basically the first one is to find out the value of sun resistance series resistance so it is very straightforward if you have see say the iv curve uh, dark iv curve so this first graph dark iv curve you plot and then what you plot is uh, current in uh, logarithmic semi logarithmic way so current in logarithmic way and then voltage uh, linearly and then this is type of curve is coming so in positive side uh, the slope of that portion will be giving out the uh, diode uh, diodicity factor value okay and then from this iv curve itself what you plot you plot differential resistance so differential resistance basically dv by dj okay dv by di or dv by dj you plot as a as a function of voltage so voltage and dv by dj so this will give you uh, the maximum of this uh, give you the sun resistance value and the minimum is gives you the series resistance value so that is that's that's how all the parameter like series resistance sun resistance and diode identity factor can be calculated out for a um, seat for a uh, for a solar cell absorber material now uh, there is a one other way which is known as chang ching method so chang ching method Uh, so you can see this equation i equal to i na is so standard uh, like shockley uh, diode shockley equation so in this equation uh, this is can be like expanded so this is the expanded form of uh, like uh, is value uh, the saturation current expanded form value and then what is to be done here is like all the like all the symbols have this their usual usual meaning only okay so now what uh, this equation is being like now like uh, expanded Uh, so vd is the diode voltage uh, di uh, um, like uh, drop across the diode which is now given by v minus ir okay so si the series resistance only they are taking into account and this one minus one part is being left out because uh, if the vd value is more than like three time kt by q so then this exponential that that value will be like higher than one so this, that's why the this portion one minus one is being taken out uh, given the vd should be higher so like uh, drop across voltage should be high so this condition is given okay now uh, this equation is value is been put this is value is put and then this stuff this is this is expanded and then in this equation uh, in this equation what we have did is we have taken out v and uh, i term so like uh, we have like um, uh, like separated these i i and v terms okay so in this simple equation we have taken out v and i terms separately and then j is being taken by current density so i by i, I by a effective so cross sectional area so that is what j is okay and then phi term is coming from here and then uh, n uh, so beta is beta is our q q by kt so that that's that's now in this equation this is like a straight forward equation uh, here what we have did is we have find dv by d ln j so if we plot dv by d ln j and then this equation will be r a effective j and n by beta so so dv by d and j versus j if we plot the slope will give us series resistance value and then intersect will give us give us the uh, diode identity factor so this is chang ching method okay and this is differential method is the differential method also giving us rs and rs value okay so basically we are doing uh, these things uh, like finding out different different way because if we directly go to that diode equation like solar cell equation this is a solar cell, solar cell uh, like uh, simplest uh, um, equivalent circuit so now here we can find out that il is given by this load current will be given by iph minus the current going into this series resistance and this diode so il is equal to iph minus current going into is this is drop across this by rsh so drop across this is vl plus il rs so vl plus il rs upon rs is the current inside this and then the diode current i i not equal to this simply so uh, uh, drop across this is same vl plus i i l rs okay so now this equation is implicit like we cannot uh, take all the parameter uh, i parameter one side and l v p the parameter at one side because exponential contain both the parameter vl plus i l so we cannot take out so to solve this kind of transcendental equation 
and to find out rs value rs value and uh, diode artifactor n value so this is not straight forward okay so we have uh, like some suggested suggested method like changing method and differential resistance method we have shown so to exactly find out what we have to do we have to go to lambert's w function so lambert w function is the function this is y equal to x e to the power ax so then x can be given by w a y so that is lambert w function so you can also see y equal to ax plus b the power c into e to the power dx plus f so now this equation can be in terms of x can be written Uh, by the lambert w function as x equal to this whole term c by d w and d by this complete term so this is uh, uh, this this equation in terms of x so using lambert w function this can be like written in terms of x so this same lambert w function can be utilized and and our this our this transcendental equ equation can be written in terms of say this this is written in terms of x bit equation for vl so vl is a function of il so now vl one side and il terms are all but one side using w function so this w function is being taken care Sim simple similarly we can also write uh, like il as a function of vl so il equal to all the vl term one side okay so this is what uh, like lambert w function so to you to utilize it we need to either use python or uh, in uh, some advanced version of origin uh, this lambert w function is also there so then we can like uh, from our direct iv curve itself we can have uh, like uh, um, all rs value rs value and diode, uh, diode identity factor values calculated out using lambert w function so this is how to calculate out rs rs h and n value so i have suggested three ways lambert w function changing method and differential resistance method okay so after that uh, let us go to some other technique to some to find some other some more param parameters uh, the one is mod short key plot so mod short key plot like uh, capacitance versus voltage we have to measure out and then uh, like in an, in any lcr meter we can do that and then we can find out uh, we we have to plot uh, c uh, 1 by c square versus voltage we have by, like we have calculated out c versus v c versus v have we have taken out and then using that data we are plotting out c 1 by c square versus voltage so that data from that data like we are modeling the data and then uh, in 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 a in a linear region that slope will give us the built in voltage the built in voltage equation and then uh, not slope the slope will give us this uh, nd value um, carrier density value and that intercept of that linear region will give us the built in voltage okay so this is the mod short key plot and then once we have nd value and built in voltage we can find out the uh like depletion width so depletion layer width we can find out from here so nd uh, nd value in plus uh, this built in voltage one, one uh, once we put we can find out estimate out the diffusion length diffusion uh, width so w diffusion width built in voltage and and carrier density all can be find from this cv plot or mod short key plot then uh, then um, uh, to find out the carrier lifetime in the our so like thin films thin films what what we can do like there are different ways photolemsis way or we have like uh, open circuit voltage decay or we have like quasi steady state photoconductance so all these things are there so basically what happens uh, if we take uh, uh, photolemsis decay so this photolemsis decay you, you, it is one schematic is being shown shown here so this decay time may be may be from nanosecond to 1 microsecond so this will give us the uh, this this uh, like uh, if we if we just uh, like uh, model it and then if, if if we just fit it and then uh, fit using this equation and then that fitting can give us the uh, lifetime so decay decay fit will give us the lifetime of the carrier okay so that ranges from 1 nanosecond to micro microsecond and then you can see out uh, i equal to i not so i is the y axis and t is the uh, x axis and tau tau is the lifetime and beta is the like stretch fit okay so once we have tau from this fitting Uh, we can find out d value or diffusion co deficient coefficient so diffusion coefficient depend on the mobility so mobility value we can find out by other ways so assume that we know mobility then diffusion co coefficient can be find out and then from diffusion coefficient diffusion length is given by d, uh, l equal to under root d tau or l square is equal to d tau so d diffusion co coefficient is known tau is from here so then diffusion length can can be estimated so now how to find mu or mobility 
so for that just go let, let's go to the wonder pom method so wonder pom method is basically uh, this uh, like uh, for that wonder pom method the sample should be uniform and like thickness should be known and then uh, measure out uh, as soon like uh, one two three four are the th four contacts so two two and three we have a voltage measurement system and then one and four we have a current measurement okay so r1 so basically go to this r1243 so r1243 is uh, 1 2 so 1 2 the current applied and 4 3 the voltage is measured measured out okay so r1243 uh, uh, this way this value r1243 so r1243 is being calculated out r1243 value is calculated out and then what we have did is r2134 so just reverse the direction just reverse the direction so 2 1 and 3 4 so just reverse the current direction just reverse the voltage direction so that will give, give us r2134 so these two measurement are known now go for r4312 so 4312 in in in, in this way in this uh, such in as shown in the figure okay so r4312 will be known now reverse the direction so reverse the direction r3421 will be known okay and similarly this r2314 like that like that uh, we can like uh, calculate out RA, RA, RA and RV value and then and the average of these these two will give us the seat resistance value. The seat resistance RS is given by average averaging RA, RB. Okay. Uh, once we have this seat resistance value, then uh, the resistivity value can be calculated out, calculated out by pi RS T by LN2. Okay. So pi uh, pi by LN2 is a constant. RS is your seat resistance and T is your thickness. So thickness may be in centimeter or meter or micrometer. Okay. So this resistivity will be like ohm meter. Okay, that the unit will be like this. So once we know the seat resistance, now we will go for hall measurement. So hall measurement you can see this is now this is across. So voltage is measured at 42 and the current is measured at 13. So current is basic current is being forced in presence of a magnetic field. So direction of magnetic field is known, direction of current is known, and then we will measure out the direction of uh, voltage, uh, voltage polarity we will measure out. So uh, whether it is positive or negative, that will define that that whether the uh, whether the sample is p-type or n-type. So here you can see uh, like voltage is being current is being forced, current is being forced. So electron direction is opposed to that, and then force is being like. Uh, like uh, right hand thumb rule we can apply and then we can find out uh, the polarity and then we can find out which type of uh, this carrier it is whether it is uh, hole or whether it is electron so type of carrier, type of um, like uh, sample can be find out whether it is p type or n type now here what we have did is we have to find vc so vc is v24 uh, so v24 voltage 24 uh, when uh, current is from 1 to 3 okay and then v24n is just reverse the direction of current so current direction is reversed so that is v24n so now earlier current is 1 to 3 now current is 3 to 1 so that is vc similarly vd is uh, v4 v42 so direction of voltage is changed uh, this voltage direction is changed and then current direction and then v42 the reverse the direction of current so that way vc and vd is calculated similarly for V and VF same thing and first we have to like for a uh, fixed voltage measurement reverse the direction of current and then just reverse the voltage and then again take, uh, take, the, take the reading for two different current direction. So that all these four values will give us the whole measurement. So VH is uh, like summation of, all, summation of all those and divide by 8. So basically these are 8 readings, we, like 8 readings so that is what whole uh, measurement is. So this uh, like VH symbol, so VH is positive or negative. That will give us the uh, that will tell us tell us the uh, whether the um, uh, given sample is p-type or n-type. So once we know the whole voltage, from there we can find out the mobility. So mobility is given by the whole voltage into thickness. So thickness of the sample, and then B is the magnetic field, and I is the current current which we have like forced, and then rho the resistivity which which we have find from the uh, find from the Wonder power method. So using that we can find out the mobility. So in the whole measurement system. So after uh, we can see out for a given sample, this is our sample whereby we have uh, AFM image of a CJTS thickness, CJTS film. So uniform thickness 
cross sectional image we can see the thickness is around 672 uh, nanometers and then the iv measurement in different dark and light condition and then all this all the what are the resistivity or the hole coefficient hole density and hole mobility all being find out so resistivity is given by pi rs t by ln2 so rs is seized resistance t is the thickness pi by ln, ln2 is a constant mobility is given by vht by vi resistivity and then carrier density can also be estimated from here also that is given by 1 by mobility resistivity and charge so that way we can find out all those three parameters so this way we can like characterize our all like our sample like electrical characterization complete for our thin films